Hey kids, welcome to a lesson 10, building an app, Color Sleuth number three. You try it, pick a button at random to make a different color. We've included the code discussed on the previous page below. The last lines of your code should look something similar to this. And we can see we have a variable uh, and that's called rand button, or as I like to call it, the RNB button ID. This one is going to be equal to button and plus a random number between one and four. And that's going to be right there. So that will tell the code that, hey, this button is going to be chosen at random. And because we don't have a space or anything, they are linked together. Then we are going to come down here and we have to set the property because right now it just says button one. Well, we have to call that random button ID. So we're gonna set it down here in our set property. And that's gonna be a different color. And diff color is up here. So we can choose whatever the random color is gonna be. Notice that there really is only one new line to make the random button ID. The other change is to replace button three in the set ID property with random button ID, as we just talked about. And they have a suggestion. Add a console.log statement to display what random button ID is somewhere after you generate the random ID so you can see which button is supposed to have the different color. It might be hard to spot, and you are not lying there. That sounds pretty interesting, so let's go ahead and take a look at our code. So right now, what we have to do is we have to add a line underneath here, and this is going to be a new variable. And the variable is going to be random button or rnb button and this is going to be equal to button make sure it's spelled right lowercase button plus because we're going to string it together and then the fan function random number that random number is going to be chosen between one and four semicolon at the end so that's choosing that we have to call that now. So in our set property, we are going to do, oh, and I see a spelling error here. This should be random button. So down here, we have rand button ID. Now, those two are being called. This is a variable now, so we have to get rid of those quotes. Now that we get rid of those, we see our little yellow triangle disappears, and this looks to be the right code. Last I want to do though, I really do want to see which one is which because we do not want to depend on my eyesight here. So I'm going to make a console.log statement and set it to random ID button. This will display after this code runs what number we picked. Let's go ahead and change our comments out here. This is the random generator. So this is going to tell me that. And this is going to set colors for start. Just a little hints of what's going on here as this code gets more complex. Well, let's try this out. Let's go ahead and hit run. Now I'm not gonna look down in my box here yet. Looks to be one, two, button three here looks to be the random one. And we have button three down here. When I hit reset and run, this should go to something other than button three button one, button two, and it looks like our color is moving randomly with that. So it looks like it's working pretty good. Looking back up here, all we really needed to do was add that line and then change the ID of the button, which we did down here. Everything looks pretty good to me. Let's see if code.org agrees. Hey. Good job, kids. I'll see you on the next one.